I'm sure most people watching this video are going to be familiar with Game Boy mods, whether they be painted shells with metal buttons, whether they be old original Game Boys that are heavily modified, including backlight, so you can see what we're doing at night, or whether they be more modern, completely metal shells with clicky buttons and built-in rechargeable batteries. But I've decided to take it upon myself to do a slightly more extensive modification. I built a Game Boy Advance SP into an arcade fight stick. This is fully working. It is a backlit Game Boy Advance. It has a nice micro switch joystick, six functioning buttons, and works with all manner of Game Boy games. You can put in a Game Boy Advance game, and you can see, boots right up, just like a normal Game Boy. It has nice sound. You can see the buttons function. You can even put in these aftermarket brass cartridges and these automatically trigger Game Boy compatibility mode and this works just fine. You can even do ridiculous things like putting in a Game Boy camera and taking photos with this giant thing. Now, I'm not going to open this up on video for you, uh, mostly because it was kind of a bit of a pain to get shut. There will be a link in the description to an album showing a process of building this and how it all went together. You can see it has a power switch on the back. It has a function switch here. What this does is this changes the button layout. By default, in this position, you have A, B, R, and L, with these functions doing basically nothing. If you switch into a six-button configuration for games like Street Fighter Alpha 3, you have A, A plus R, R, B, B plus L, and L. These are for your high and low kicks, the punches. It is powered by a 2,500 milliamp hour battery. It has a slightly increased speaker size for almost a larger volume output. It does have a nice sign on the back warning you about said speaker. It is screwed in, it is all put together, is built into a heavily modified Mayflash F101 fighting stick. And uh, yeah, this took the better part of the past two weeks for me to make. So if you'd like to hear more about this, like I said, I'm going to have a link in the description. It's going to go to an uh, uh, album. Tons of photos, tell you all about what nonsense I went through to make this work. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.